Hi, I'm Charlie Lopresti. I'm the class of 2000 here at Plymouth State. I'm Chief Meteorologist at News 13 in Portland, Maine. I chose Plymouth State for the meteorology program. Came here to study weather and uh, also the location. I like to ski, I like to hike, and it's a real easy place to uh, fall in love with. I'm always looking for an excuse to come back to Plymouth State. The best life experience I've had here at Plymouth State was obviously meeting my wife. I had the opportunity to, uh, to meet her my sophomore year, I think, and we finally started dating our junior year. Uh, several years later, we got married, and we've been happily married for 10 years now. We both played rugby at Plymouth State, so, um, so that was easy to, to get to know her because it was such a small community of the guys in the girls' rugby team. And I think it's an honor that I was asked by the professors here to come back and speak to the meteorology students. I think when it comes down to it, uh, viewers just want to see an accurate and easy to understand forecast. It's important to stay on top of technology, um, but not get carried away with it at the same time. Um, and I think viewers understand whether you're genuine or not. Uh, and they also keep track of your forecasts. The person who's the most accurate during a big snowstorm or severe weather outbreak, those are the people that are going to watch. The key to forecasting on television is just keeping it simple. Make it easy for people to understand. A lot of people don't understand the scientific jargon that we all know as meteorologists, but uh, keeping it simple, letting them know when it's going to rain, give them some time frames here, um, and making it easy for the folks to understand. I think that's important. My advice for people getting into broadcast meteorology uh, beyond uh, their, their studies here at Plymouth State is just networking, getting to know people, do a lot of internships perhaps, um, and it's a small community. Everybody knows each other, so um, that will ultimately help uh, landing that first job perhaps uh, when you graduate.